Our commitment is to end our city's toxic relationship with the Minneapolis T Police Department. identify $250 million in cuts to every department, including the police department. So we could invest in jobs, in health, in education, and in healing. stops match up with crime statistics and the fact that our police officers on patrol make an average about less than one stop a week. And while many of the ways we tried to reduce gun violence and invest in communities were right and we reduced murder by 50 percent, there is one aspect that I deeply regret, the abuse of a police practice called stop and frisk. I think what we're talking about is rethinking policing. Black and white people have experienced policing entirely differently. And, and that now is clear to everybody, and that is something that everyone's demanding be changed. This kind of discussion is going to break out all over the place. To end policing as we know it, and to recreate systems of public safety that actually keep us safe. So defunding is taking a redirecting resources from the police agency to another component. And our council and our mayor have been doing a phenomenal job at doing that. These are systemic problems. They do not go away by changing a, a tactic. They do not go away by banning a chokehold. They do not go away by tweaking a million bucks in a budget. They come with wholesale change. This is going to take tough, bold, political sacrifices from people like me in office right now.